Hey, Scruffy. How you doing? Yeah, I'm a little later than usual. But I'm actually not that late. I thought I'd be much later. <clears throat> so, actually, yeah, I'm kind of right at dinner. <clears throat> okay. It's really hot today. And it's going to get way worse. Okay. Oh, what's that? It's really pissed at me. It's just about to kneel down. Why you hissed at me? Do you want your food? This thing doesn't help. Okay. Yep, scrap and ran away. Don't know what's up with you. <clears throat> so I fed Scruffy a little later today at lunch, and I fed him a little extra food, so he might not be as food motivated. <clears throat> so, yeah, today is... ramping up in the heat, so... It's all been forecasts, so today it's hot. <clears throat> and then the next two or three days are going to be miserably hot. Um, and then it's going to come down to, I think, about where we are today, and then I don't know what happens after that. But uh, yeah, there are heat advisories on the, the weather weather app I use and the website has uh, heat advisories, so it's, it's going to be bad. <clears throat> but yeah, today is probably going to be better than any other day on the forecast. So I decided I would go out on a bike ride today and then most likely tomorrow I'm going to stay in and then I, it may be Still ridiculously hot the day after, so I might have to stay in again, and then, and then the day after that might be similar to today, but I'm not sure yet. But I figured I better go out now while I still can. <clears throat> but because it's so hot, I thought I'd try to go later, so it'd be a little cooler. And so I kind of planned for today to go out later and come back later, so Scruffy was going to get fed later. Turns out, and I'm actually feeding Scruffy that much later. So this is kind of... I've been feeding him a little bit earlier, just out of habit. Uh, just the way my schedule's been working out recently. But uh, this is kind of our normal dinner time right now, so... So I think actually when I started it, we were... Yeah, we actually had, it was in a really bad heat wave summer. And so I was feeding Scruffy much later in general. And then, I think, uh, yeah, the following years were not as bad. <clears throat> and so I could feed him a little earlier. But uh, anyway, so I went out and, uh, yeah, it was still too hot, <laughs> so um, yeah, that was a pretty that was a pretty rough ride. Was, you know, the, the heat was getting to me, and I'm actually, in hindsight, I'm actually realizing uh, maybe instead of uh, going out when I did, I should actually feed Scruffy earlier, and then go out after I feed Scruffy because. Um, as I was coming back, it, I did notice it was starting to get a little cooler. So if I had left in this weather, it, the ride might have actually been much more manageable. So I think maybe I need to flip my thinking and uh, start feeding Scruffy earlier instead of later. And then uh, go out. But uh, tomorrow and probably the next day, though, it's just going to be too hot, period. So... 
now, so I don't need to do anything. <laughs> So, let's see, uh, on my bike ride, didn't see much. Sucky squirrels. No snakes. No foxes. Didn't see many birds either, if any. Oh, I saw a deer on the way out. It was uh, climbing up the hillside. And oh, the park actually did some road repairs. I was shocked. Didn't do much. They just did a, a retard, a uh, small, very short section of uh, the main vehicle road. Very, very tiny bit. I presume they're going to do more, but. I'm surprised they did anything, just because even though the road really needs that type of repair, my impression was that there was actually um, serious uh, damage uh, in one section of the road that gets really cl close to the creek, and, I, and the way they've coned it off, it makes me think, yeah, they think the thing's going to collapse, so they need... Uh, they need a real construction crew to fortify that road, and they're not doing anything with that, so... I don't know if there's any point to retarring, you know, small patches of the road if, you know, the, the main main reason the road's closed is uh, not going to get fixed. So I don't know what they're thinking. So I don't know, maybe they do plan to fix that part of the road later, but, you know, it, they really prolonged it. I thought if they were going to do it, they would have at least, you know, or at the worst, you know, started work by now. Yeah, I thought, you know, I thought they would have done it before the park reopened for, you know, at least pedestrians. I thought they would have done it while the whole park was still closed. So I'm kind of under the impression they're not going to do it at all, at least uh, this year. I don't know. I have no knowledge. Though I did mention that the other day, last last time I went for a bike ride, I was spying on an engineering crew. They were eavesdropping. So there was uh, there were three vehicles uh, driving up one of the trail uh, paved trails. It's wide enough for vehicles. Uh, or yeah, one one road, one, one lane of vehicles anyway. <clears throat> and uh, anyway, uh, they I passed them at one point. They were getting back into their vehicles, and then uh, and then uh, they overtook me later up the hill. And then I caught up with them again. They were out of their vehicles, inspecting a different section, and. Uh, it was right around a switchback, <clears throat> so they were on the bottom part of the switchback. I was on the top, and I basically took a water break. And I was planning to actually reverse my direction and go back the way I came. I wasn't going to go down all the way um, for various reasons. <clears throat> but I thought I'd take a water break there and try to eavesdrop on uh, their conversation to see yeah, what they were doing. Uh, so it sounds like they were... Trying to figure out how much, I guess, water had been absorbed into the mountainside, the hillside, I guess, for the uh, speculating spec the structural integrity of the road. Um, so they, one of the engineers was talking about uh, he has not yet gone through all the historical documents of, I guess, the his you know, history of the road and, you know, just what it looks like, you know, the, you know the whatever they do to track it over the years. Um, 
but he, I guess, was you know, surveying at least uh, you know what it looked like now. And uh, fortunately, yeah, I don't think they said anything that revealed what their intention was. But it sounds like yeah, they they don't have imme any immediate plans and uh, to do anything. It sounds like yeah, they they still have a lot of inspection type stuff to do. So I'm gonna feed Scruffy now. Okay. So, let's see. At lunch today, yeah, Scruffy didn't really give me any openings to try to cut anything. So, I didn't try cutting anything. I'm not sure if I have an opening right now or not. I don't think I do. It's on the wrong side. Have to cut around the scruffy. Let's see if I can get the leaf. There's a leaf stuck to Scruffy's leg. Let's see if I can get it's disintegrating. So Scruffy's sitting on the tough fur, so yeah, I might be able to cut anything tonight. So since it was hot, so I put some ice cubes in the water, which melted by the time uh, he ate. And uh, yeah, I put extra water in the, well, not extra water, but I put, yeah, I've been putting a little more water in the food, so it laps it up first. But yeah, so all in all, pretty conventional lunch. Hey Scruffy, how you doing? So I'm at the end of lunch. Probably seems late to you, huh? So it's getting hotter today. So I think I might need to feed you a little later tonight. So I think I'm gonna have to go out in the late afternoon. When it's a little cooler, or I hope it's a little cooler. So that means I'm gonna get back later. So that's one reason I'm feeding you a little later now. I put a little bit of extra kibble in your lunch bowl. Help tide you over in case I'm in case I am late. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Put some ice cubes in the water. We're almost melted. It's getting hot. I forgot the scissors. Okay, so let's get the food on the table. Water. And uh, cubes are almost gone. It's hot today. <clears throat> uh, Scruffy's avoiding the head. Looks like you got a leaf. Stuck to your body and in the bushes. I've got a headbutt there, and under the chin, neck rib. Slight headbutt there. Feather under the chin.
Okay, let's get your food. Let's get some water. I think the water might have been on the bottom of the bowl or the edge of the bowl. I don't think they tipped the bowl that much. Tonight's dinner is mini pate, the Frio Ocean Whitefish, kibble, and rotisserie chicken scraps. I actually tried to pre prepare everything before I left for my bike ride so when I got back, I could just uh, pop it in the microwave for a few seconds to warm up everything and then bring it right out. So at lunch, you know, Scruffy they ate a little slower today, so might have been the combination of the extra water and also the extra kibble, so there's just more to eat. It's also a little messy, so he managed to fling two pieces of kibble, or maybe more, out of the bowl onto the deck. And uh, when he left, he actually yeah, left one piece of kibble in the bowl, and there was one piece on the kib uh, kibble still on the deck that he didn't pick up. So I think I sufficiently gave him enough kibble that he didn't feel like he needed to eat every piece. <clears throat> Although I put the two remaining pieces on the red plate, and then uh, yeah, he came back sometime because the pieces are gone now. So so he got everything eventually. So in trouble with the balls. Moving for him. So I feel the flies swarming me right now. Probably need to put on bug spray. I put on the sunscreen today, but I got lazy, skipped the bug spray, but I think I need it. So I'm just to left some food in there. Move it on the plate for him. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. See you next time.